akiwa kansola. Eh? Akawa chairman ya Moranga. Sasa ile simu nilimpatia nili sijabadilisha. Sasa anatumia tu hiyo simu. Anapiga simu asubuhi, anatuma SMS mojana, anatuma WhatsApp jioni, anarudia simu tena usiku. Tafadhali mwambie apunguze kidogo. <laughs> yani kumbe nyinyi ndio mmemtuma? Akuja anisumbue? Asalala. <laughs> anyway, so hiyo maneno alikuwa ameniambia na akaniambia kwamba nikikuja hapa lazima niambie watu wake vile hiyo kazi itafanyika. Na nishakubali. Ya tatu pia tumekubaliana mambo ya irrigation. Tuko na project ya irrigation ya Kanyanyaine hapa. Si ndio? Tuko na project ya irrigation ya Kiawambogo ambaye contractor tayari nishampata. Ile kazi mimi nataka tu report hapo na mimi nitarudi mwenyewe in the next one month kuja kuanzisha hiyo kazi yote. Kahia Kaihi iko milioni tatu. Eh? Hiyo ya Kaihi iko milioni tatu tumeweka hapo na tumepata contractor. Kiawambogo tuko na milioni hamsini na contractor tumepata. Na Kanyenyaine tuko na milioni tatu na contractor tumepata. Ile maneno mimi nataka kutoka kwenu. Nataka munitikize vizuri. Sawa? Hiyo maji yote nimesema karibu shilingi milioni nane ambaye mia tisa karibu ya hapa kangema hiyo kazi tutafanya lakini pia na nyinyi nataka munipatia ahadi kwa sababu hiyo maji tunaweka ya irrigation ni ya kuzalisha chakula nataka munihakikishia kwamba mtanisaidia kuzalisha chakula mtanisaidia hapo ndio tuondoe njaa kwa Kenya si ndio si mnajua kuna watu wananivalianga masufuria huko Nairobi kwa barabara na kuzunguka na maandamano na nilishawaambia hii maandamano na sufuria kwa kichwa haiwezi kupunguza gharama ya chakula mpaka tuende shambani tulime si ndio na tumepanga ile mbolea ilikuwa karibu shilingi elfu saba sasa tumeteremusha chini imefika elfu mbili na tano na pia leo tumeamua ya kwamba hata wakulima wa kahawa pia tumekubaliana na wao kila factory tutaweka mbolea ya 2500 ya kahawa. Si ndio? Mkulima apatane na e, mbolea pale alipie kwa bei ya chini. Kuna watu wengine wanasema hakuna mbolea subsidized ya kahawa kwa wakulima. That is a lie. We want to make sure that fertilizer is, a, is available to all our farmers. Wakulima wa kahawa wakulima wa chai, wa ngano, wa mahindi, wa mimea zile zingine zote kwa sababu tunataka kuinua kilimo ipatikane chakula ya kutosha na ili tufukuze njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nawashukuru kwanza watu wa Moranga, nyinyi ni mashujaa kwa sababu Moranga ni food surplus county. Yaani mnazalisha chakula mpaka mnatusaidia kulisha wa Kenya wengine. Mimi nawashukuru sana na muendelee na hiyo kazi kwa sababu Kenya sasa tunanunua chakula kutoka nje imagine ati tunatumia bilioni tano kila mwaka kununua mahindi ngano mchele sijui edible oil sijui nini kutoka nchi zingine tumeamua kwamba kama serikali badala ya kutumia pesa ya Kenya kununua chakula kutoka wakulima wa nchi zingine wacha tusaidie wakulima wetu wa Kenya wazalishe chakula ili hiyo pesa bilioni tano badala ya kulipa wale tulipe wakulima wetu hapa Kenya ama nyinyi mnataka tuendelee kuagiza chakula kutoka nje si tulipe wakulima wetu wazalishe chakula hapa Kenya so ndio mimi nataka niulize wakulima wa Kenya We cannot continue to import food in our country when we can grow that food in Kenya. So mahali tutapata nafasi ya kusaidiana na nyinyi tuwe na irrigation kama ile nimetangaza hapa ni ya kuzalisha chakula. Ndio tuweze kufukuza njaa na tuweze kuweka mapato 
na pesa kwa mifuko ya wakulima na wa, wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya. So mnanipatia hakikisho watu wakangema kwamba tukifanya irrigation ya Kenya nyaini, ile ya Kaihi na ile ya Kiambogo nyinyi mtanisaidia kusalisha chakula na sio ya bure tutakuja kununua si ndio na muweke pesa kwa mfuko ndio tuweze kusonga mbele tumekubaliana so hiyo eh, program mimi nitarudia vile vile tuko na program niliwaambia ya kwamba soko pia tutajenga hapa Moranga tunajenga soko kumi na tatu mpya. Hapa Kangema tuko tume advertise soko mbili tayari. Si ndio? Karogia na Gakera. Karogia na Gakera. Hiyo soko mbili nimeweka milioni mia moja ya kutengeneza hizo soko mbili. Na tayari itaanza kujengwa kabla ya e, mwisho wa mwezi ujao. Na mimi nimesema hiyo soko ikamilike within six months iwe imekuwa tayari. Ndio tuweze unajua kwa hiyo soko tunataka pia tuweke cold rooms. Ndio tusiwe tunapoteza chakula. Kwa sababu tunataka chakula inawekwa kwa fridge mzuri inapatikana next day inaweza kuuzwa tena hatutaki chakula tena ipotee ile imezalishwa alafu inakuja sokoni kwa sababu hakuna cold room facility inakuja inaharibika so we are going to manage that and we are going to work together tumekubaliana watu wa Moranga vile vile hapa Moranga mnajua tulisimama hapa tukawaambia tutakuwa na program ya kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana tuko na vijana wengi Kenya tuko na kila boma iko na vijana wawili watatu wamemaliza shule lakini hawana kazi. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Na lazima tuwe na mpango. Vile tunapanga kusomesha watoto wetu, lazima pia tupange vile watapata ajira. Na ndio sababu tumepanga mara tatu ama mara ine Ya kwanza tumepanga mambo ya housing. Nikiongea na nyinyi vijana 1130 Kenya saa hizi wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing 130000 ambao hawakuwa wanafanya kazi hapa moranga tuko na program ya nyumba ya kwanza elfu kumi na moja. na tunahitaji almost 20000 young people ya kujenga hizo manyumba kesho nitakuwa kandara kuanzisha hiyo program ya housing ya hapa moranga na tutakuja hapa kangema na tutaenda kiharo na tutaenda maragwa na tutaenda mpaka gatanga and everywhere kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba vijana wa Moranga wanaungana na vijana wa Kenya katika program ya housing wapate ajira tuwe na architects tuwe na engineers quantity surveyors plumbers carpenters masons na wale wengine wote ambao wanafanya hiyo kazi vile vile tuko na kazi zingine zitapatikana kwa sababu ya hiyo program watu wengi watafanya kazi kwa kware transporters hapa katikati wafanyabiashara wa hardware hapa katikati ndio tuweze kuamsha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya that is our plan na tunataka tushirikiane na mimi nataka niwashukuru mmenipatia wabunge na viongozi ambao nashirikiana na wao kuendesha program hii kesho watakuwa bunge wakipitisha ile sheria ya housing ambayo makoti yetu walisema tupitishe so they will be in parliament tomorrow kupitisha ya program ndio hii program ya housing isiwe tena na kisirani na isiwe tena na mambo ya kusumbuana na mambo ya kuvutana vijana wetu wapate ajira tujenge manyumba na tuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inasonga mbele tumekubaliana jameni ya pili niliwauliza munipatie shamba hapa Del Monte mimi nataka nimshukuru governor wenu na county government ya hapa Moranga. Asante sana bwana governor. Wametupatia shamba. Nimeweka pale tayari milioni tano ya kutengeneza hiyo mahali kwa sababu tunataka special economic zone. Mahali tutatengeneza mahali ya viwanda ndio tuweze kuzalisha ajira ya hawa vijana na tupate mali ya kuexport 
kutoka Kenya. So hiyo program is already ready. We have already a contractor on site ya kufanya hiyo kazi na hiyo itakuwa ni ya manufaa makubwa kwa watu wa Moranga because we are going to have a special economic zone that is going to help us with the employment of young people with creating uh, products for export and making sure that we grow the economy of Kenya. Munajua tumekuwa na special economic zone moja Kenya pale at the river. Lakini sasa tuko nayo tano ambayo tumeanzisha. Moja ni yenu iko hapa Moranga. Ingine iko Sagana, ingine iko Nakuru, ingine iko Eldoret, ingine iko Busia na ingine iko Mombasa. So hiyo pro hiyo uh, special economic zones tano ambayo tumeanzisha moja ikiwa yenu ya moranga hapa we want in the next couple of months ianze kufanya kazi na tuanze kupata waegezaji ile watatupatia nafasi nyingi ya ajira tunaelewana ya tatu tumekubaliana vile vile katika hiyo hiyo mpango ya ajira ya vijana tumekubaliana kila ward tuwe na ICT hub mahali hawa vijana wataenda tuwapangie computer tuweke internet tuwe na walimu ya kuwafundisha because we have already negotiated tayari tumekubaliana nafasi ya ajira duniani ya vijana wa Kenya so hiyo kazi yote tumeshapanga vizuri na wewe bwana Kihungi tumekubaliana within four months zile ICT hubs ya Kangema iwe imekuwa tayari mimi nitaweka computer nitaweka internet nitaleta walimu ya kufundisha hawa majamaa kazi yenu kufinya computer weka dola kwa mfuko songa mbele ama unataka tufanye namna gani si namna hiyo we must what i am saying ile kitu mimi nasema hatuwezi kuendelea kuongea ya kwamba hakuna kazi kwa vijana na hatuna mpango for the first time we have a government that plans for how we are going to create jobs We are going to create jobs in housing, we are going to create jobs in digital space, we are going to create jobs in our special economic zones and we are going to create jobs using export of labor so that we can have a country that stands on its feet and we can drive our economy using our human capital. Hatuwezi kuwa tunatumia bilioni sita kusomesha watoto wetu alafu tunakuja tunawaacha barabarani wakitembea madukani, wakitembea mitaani na hawana kazi. Sio nitakuwa ni hasara kubwa. Na tumetumia pesa nyingi kuwasomesha. So we must get value for the investment we are making in education. We must get value for money we are investing in our children, our young people in their education by making sure we monetize their talent, their education and make sure that they can support the economy of our country. Na hiyo ndio kazi tunataka tufanye tukiwa pamoja. So watu wa Moranga sitaki kusema sana. Si tumekubaliana barabara tujenge hii ya town na utuunganishe hii Kangema na Moranga. Na ile ya Kenya nyaine mumesema tufanye namna gani? Tuendelee na hiyo. Eh? Na Kiambogo pia. Na Maumau. <laughs> Bas hiyo kazi yote tushakubaliana. So watu wa Kangema sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Mimi bado hapa nitakuwa Maragwa nitakuwa area tu na tena nitalala hapa tena kesho na kesho kutu hapa pengine nitalala tena mpaka muulize huyu mtu ataondoka lini si ndio asawa nimekaa sijafika hapa Kangema si ndio lakini nilikuwa na kazi nyingine kubwa huko ni hawa watu waliniwaachia. Unajua ile watu ya Handshake na BBI na Rege walikoroga maneno mpaka makadeni ilikatoka sijui dunia gani. Sasa nimekuwa nikingangana na hiyo madeni juzi simuliona tuli 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 tulifanya mambo ya Eurobond. Sasa tumemalizana na mambo ya madeni. Sasa ile kazi imebaki ni mimi kupanga maendeleo. Kwa sababu kama hatungelipa hiyo madeni ingeharibu sifa ya nchi yetu na tungekuwa atarini ya kupigwa monada ile kengele inapigwa auction unataka nchi yetu ipigwe ipigwe kengele so tumepanga hiyo maneno sasa iko shwari so asanteni sana watu wa Kangema mimi nimefurahi kufika hapa eh, <laughs> kuna mtu anataka kunipatia kuku pale 
So, so mimi nitajipanga na hiyo kuku yako usijali. Unajua mimi ni mtu ya kuku. Si ndio? Niko na kuku kiasi. Na mimi nauza hata mpaka mayai so msinitishe sana na kuku mimi najua hiyo kazi sana. Si ndio? Eh na niko na kuku si kidogo. Niko na kuku mingi sana. Ikiwaambia mtashangaa. So otherwise asante sana. Wacha ni muite rafiki yangu Mungwana ambaye mlinipatia ninafanya kazi na yeye anaitwa Rigadi Gashagwa. Mnamjua huyu Mungwana? Huyu Rigadi Gashagwa. AKA Rigiji. Basi Rigiji salimia watu wa Kangema. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Eh Adwaka gemamuri ya